this episode, learn a simple technique that will help you take great scenic shots at night. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace here in very cold Prague. It was actually snowing a couple of seconds ago, but uh, I'm gonna take a picture of this beautiful river and the bridge and this sort of scene of Prague here. Now what I could do, because it's sort of low light in the day, the sun's already behind the horizon, and what I could do is try to get as much light as possible by opening up my aperture. This is at 3.4. I'm shooting in aperture priority mode, taking my ISO up to 800 and then shooting. So I'm going to focus on infinity and take a shot here. And when I look at that shot, it's nah, at best, it's okay, not very good. There are a few things that we can do to really make this shot amazing. So let me show you a couple tools that I'm going to use. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, it might be a little bit counterintuitive, but I'm going to take my aperture and instead of shooting at uh, 3.4, I'm gonna close my aperture all the way down to 16. It's gonna make a really small aperture value. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me maximum depth of field, and it's also gonna help all the little points of light back here when the sun goes down to really look nice and sharp and give me some starburst shapes instead of sort of blobs back there. And also it's gonna make my shutter slow down considerably. And that slow shutter is gonna smooth out the clouds and the water and all of that stuff. That's gonna be much more effective. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna reduce the noise in this image. So I'm gonna go in here and take my ISO from 800 all the way down to 200. That's the base, the lowest ISO, ISO that my camera can use. Now because of those things, now my camera is taking a longer exposure, I need to add a tripod. Now normally I would use a big tripod, but here we've got this really nice solid base, and so I can just pop this little teeny tripod, this is a Coleman tripod on the bottom of my camera. That's gonna keep that from moving, and now my long exposure is going to be really nice and solid. Now the other thing I wanna do, I don't wanna to touch my camera because that's going to shake it. So what I'll do is I'm going to use a remote cable release. This is a really old school one for my Leica, but you can get these for any camera brand and that's gonna allow you to take a picture without touching the camera. So it's not going to shake it. It's gonna have a nice, steady shot. Now the last tool that we're going to use and it's gonna make a huge difference, and this is sort of counterintuitive because we're shooting at night, but I'm gonna add a six stop neutral density filter that I just happen to have in my pocket here. Now what this guy does is it blocks the light, sort of like sunglasses for your camera. And so it's really, really dark. And what that will do is it'll even force a longer exposure. So now we're gonna get up into the one, two, and three minute exposure times. And that's really gonna make this look glassy. Now here's a trick. Once you put this on your camera, the lens is gonna be so dark that you're not gonna be able to see through the lens. And so what you'll have to do is set your camera to manual focus and you're gonna to have to manually focus that lens. Now, if you have a lens like this that has a depth of field guide, I suggest that you focus at hyperfocal. We've talked about that in past episodes. If you don't, just focus on infinity, and because you have that really uh, long, extended depth of field, you get a lot of stuff in focus. Now, the other thing I didn't mention, I'm shooting with a wide-angle lens. I've got a 21-millimeter lens. I think that's imperative for a scene like that. So. Uh, once we have that all set, I'm gonna put my neutral density filter on here. If you don't have manual focus, if you need to lock your focus, you can focus by looking through the eyepiece, lock that down, and then put your uh, neutral density filter on. So we'll put that on. I've got a depth of field gauge, so I'm just gonna set my uh, focus at hyperfocal. Uh, this is a B plus W, um, six stop neutral density filter. All right, so that's on my camera. So I've got my neutral density filter, shooting at F16 aperture priority mode, ISO 200, and then um, let's frame this up and take a picture and then we'll compare the before and after shot. All right, so let's take this shot here. All right, so that was about a one second shot and that's okay, but what we really need to do is one last thing and that is wait for the sun to get lower in the sky because I really want about a 60 second shot. Right now we are about 30 minutes from the sun uh, going all the way down to give us that. So I need to wait about a half an hour. I'll take this picture again and then we'll compare our first shot that I did handheld, wide open at high ISO. This shot that I shot for about a second with a neutral density filter and then we'll compare that to our last shot, shot after the sun goes down and we have a very long exposure.
All right, well, there you have it. I think you'll agree that the shots that we took after sundown, obviously I did those after we shot this video because it, it was at night, um, but you'll agree that those shots are much better than the original shots where the sun was up and I used a wide open aperture. And it's really simple, an inexpensive tripod, an inexpensive cable release, an inexpensive neutral density filter. All told, you're talking about $100 of add-ons to get a much, much better uh, scenic photo. And this works for all scenic photos. So you can shoot these at daylight and sunset and cityscapes. It's really amazing. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Now, don't forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center because we've got tons of stuff about shooting scenic photos and hyperfocal focusing and all that kind of stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free, and that way you won't miss a single thing. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.